When you discover advanced oil processing, run, do not walk to the refinery area. There is a lot to get done. Petroleum gas output is not quite high enough to supply demand currently. Changing to advanced processing gives us 10 more gas per 5 seconds per refinery and also the light and heavy oil. That brings us to the only two storage tanks we're going to need, one for light oil and one for heavy oil. Making room for this is why we tried to separate the light and heavy pipelines a bit during our refinery setup. Both tanks are connected to a pump controlling the further flow of the oil. The point is that we'll want to reserve some of the light and heavy oil for other purposes while turning the rest into petroleum gas. Chemical plants handle the cracking. Water plus heavy oil into light oil, light oil plus water into petroleum gas. This isn't reversible though, you can't go from gas to light or from light to heavy. For heavy oil cracking, one chemical plant can handle the output of four refineries. Be sure that the input pipes are properly matched up, another case where H and V to flip them is really useful. Heavy oil is now converted to light oil, but that's just going to fill the light oil pipes. We need the next step for useful petroleum gas. The refineries are starting to catch up, but we can make it a lot better. More cracking capacity is needed for light oil than heavy oil, three chemical plants for every five refineries. In this setup, I find it useful to alternate the pairs of chemical plants, oil in the middle for one, water in the middle for another, or you can just spread them out more if you prefer. A two tile gap between the chemical plants though is still enough to get everything hooked up and be able to walk through conveniently. Amber plumes of smoke quite satisfyingly indicate it's working, but we still have the same issue as before. We need not only ingredients, but a place for the gas to go. Your support by liking the video, subscribing, and leaving a comment below would be much appreciated. Petroleum gas output will of course be hooked back up to the main gas pipe, heading down to the plastic and other consumers. Once that is fully in place, we can see the volume in the petroleum gas pipe rising more quickly. Having production exceed demand by a moderate amount is usually a good plan. This whole operation will come to a halt if any of the three products don't have any place to be stored. Petroleum gas backing up is perfectly fine, that's the product we need the most of by far. A sufficient amount of cracking capacity is absolutely essential to make sure the light and heavy oil are never going to clog the system. 